Okay, we have some frames ready. Uh, let's go in the particles and uh, we can set to not renderable and just render some frames. But before we see the evolution of the particles, so you see we have still maybe too much the soloing of the particles. Let's see this frame. It is going better, but I like to have less dissolving. Okay, uh, so we can try to have inside the simulation, we go to have a little scale there. Let's try with six. And we have just one for the turbulence and the dissipation will be back to three and we say that it is uh, it is trying to have not so much the solving again more iteration and let's try with a, a steel less scaling to have more detail okay and save and we can see uh, some more frames together in a few that's for example uh, a rendering we can see also with more frames what we have you see we need for sure uh, a better scaling for the particles and we need more particles I think so we can make some adjustment the first is there uh, we can have more speed there let's say maybe 10 centimeters and then there we can tune there the scaling is enough maybe we can go a little bit lower like going at 4 and we can change uh, a little bit the particle system so let's select PF and first of all let's go to select the particle flow search and we can remove it and back to the PF impact okay we have this one falling down and I like to have let's say maybe just a little bit more particles so you see we have more explosion one near the other one okay um, then let's say that let there I like to see the geometry so we have a precise look to the scaling as there geometry okay and there we have geometry and we have to say that also there we have geometry so we can tune the scaling okay now are too little let's say maybe a little bit more 
um, let's say 45 and let's say that we have a 35% of variation and on this spawning there in the speed let's say that we have uh, just for the spawning on this part let's say 20 okay and there it seems nice so we have okay this kind of effects okay uh, we can make a test to see if we can obtain a better look in this way or if we have to scale down a little bit the particles so there for the calculation and later we can see the result together uh, so it's crashed during the simulation so uh, we have to uh, redo the simulation but before I like to make a little uh, change to the particles so I like to have bigger uh, particles at the beginning and then we can use this one as copy and paste there but there we scale the particles to 9% so uh, if we go to see the particles, you see that we have bigger particles and then more little particles inside the scene. Okay, uh, let's save and now we can simulate again. Uh, let's simulate some frames and then we see the result together. Okay, we have some frames. Uh, let's go inside the particles that we set as not renderable. It is done, okay. Uh, so back to the film effects and you see that's how our simulation okay let's see some render this one is at the beginning you see that's the result obviously we need a little bit more resolution then for example we have this one and you see that it's going not bad about the quality and then for example we can see at this point how it is looking and that's really not bad let's see if we can have uh, again a little bit more uh, multiple scattering Okay, you see in this way we have a little bit more scattering inside the smoke and I like just to see what happened oh, for the final render we can have a lower step size and I like to see if we have a little bit higher let's try with 3 density see in this way it's really huge and let's see with a low value okay nice let's pick uh, the second light let's see without this light how it's look okay we need a little bit of lighting for sure uh, let's go to have a lower value uh, let's say maybe 0 2 and we'll have a higher value for this one but this light will be uh, lower and let's say maybe just a little bit more light and maybe just a little bit warmer okay and it's a more interesting lighting as you see and I'd like to see if this light is more similar to a backlight what happened okay you see we have more lighting coming from this part 
and less sliding and then move the camera okay nice and again with a little bit more density again to uh, one okay and again with a little bit more scattering okay and let's go there again in the color and we go for a darker color there also this one is darker and this one is more dark okay I like more uh, to have a look like a dirty look this one can be maybe a darker color or maybe we can go for uh, something like a really dark gray let's see in rendering but it's nicer to have a really dark color there okay so save and I like to see how we can rise the bar of the quality about a simulation so uh, again to be sure uh, we save and I like to go lower there with a really high scaling uh, for the moment we can go for for example 1.8 and we can try to simulate and see if uh, we can obtain a really nice looking quality and in this way we can see what we have to change there to obtain more and more detail okay we can see how it is looking so back to the particles and set to not renderable back to particle flow uh, sorry to film effects and let's see during the explosion at the beginning I think we can have less spacing between the uh, first particle moving up By the way, the quality is really uh, not bad. I mean, so uh, if we like to have, let's see there. You see, uh, at this right, at the beginning, we have the particles spreading really wide. So uh, back in the particle flow, We are talking about the first spawning. We can have this back. Okay, so you see uh, the particles are more rising up. And let's say that we have maybe 350 and 200 for the variation. So we have more variation in the particles going up or down okay um, in particle flow and, and film effects uh, the ground let's see to speed up still more the particles so let's go for six to have more speed up to the particle to the fluids moving up there and maybe we need this one just a little bit higher and another thing I like to do is to change again a little bit there the noise scaling let's go to 2.5 and save 
and let's go down just a little bit down to something like that and we simulate some frames and we can see the result together and then maybe we can we have just to tune up the rendering and we are ready uh, for the final simulation so back in the particles and then we can simulate Okay, we have enough frames uh, we can test. You see 100. So you see that's the result. And let's see in rendering. So for example, let's render this frame. And you see that's the result. And you see that step by step the particles are opening and solving. So the quality is really not bad. We can go a little bit deeper to a more complex result with a, an higher uh, quality render and for example also with more detail. Before we are ready uh, to launch the final simulation, I'd like to solve another issue. Uh, you know that we are using the uh, the mesh prepared with the measure, so we have no speed data. So to have a better simulation, we have to add more velocity from there. So let's try with 25. Let's go to simulate some frames. So let's save. Okay, let's check. Uh, and this way we have an additional speed to uh, the smoke to expand. And you see that it is going a little bit better. Let's try to render, for example, this frame. We have the particles visible, but you see that now we have a little bit of shape all around, so we can maybe uh, maintain this kind of quality. So we can decide to have maybe just a little bit more speed. Let's think about having, for example, 30. And maybe we can change a little bit the, uh, the noise scaling. Let's go for 5 and we go to have an higher level there. Let's try with maybe uh, six or maybe eight. And we try to simulate some more frames. Okay, let's check now. You see that we have uh, a little bit of more noise. Let's go back there at the beginning to see how it is looking. That's one frame. We have a lot of noise. And then let's see when we have enough frames simulated. You see that we have a lot of noise. So I like to change a little bit this one. So uh, let's go for example to 4. And talking about the rendering, I, I'd like to see what happened with just a little bit of low tree salts removed. Maybe just a little bit less. And maybe just a little bit more. Scattering. Okay. Nice. Um, let's retry to simulate this part with maybe um, save and then we go a little bit lower with the scaling to something like 
let's see. One dot five. And the noise maybe just a little bit like that and we can try to simulate and see the result in a few that's the actual result and I still like to have a little bit less uh, noise so let's go for 2.5 and maybe 4 for the scaling save and again simulate and we'll see another result in a few let's see this frame Mm, okay, maybe we can have still a little bit less noise. Let's see when the smoke is rising. I think we can have a little bit less. So let's go to 1.5 and we can have a little bit more speed. Let's try with 35 save and again simulate and then we see another test okay that's the actual result and it seems not bad i like just to see what happens if we have again everything visible okay let's go back to 002 and a little bit more Scattering. Okay, let's try to change a little bit the value there. So let's go back to four and we try to see with a different valve fall off if we like it. Let's see with a lower fall off, obviously. Uh, in this case, let's try to 2.5. Okay, I'm back there to have a lower value. Uh, let's try with 0 0.2. Still less. Let's try with 0 0.01. Okay, let's try to find a better compromise. Okay, and let's pick the second light and give it a little bit more power and higher intensity. Let's try with 35. Okay, you see that we have a little bit more energy. Let's try with 0 0.5. Okay, and just a little bit more light from the light uh, 1. So 1.5. And now it seems really nice. Okay, so um save and we try to obtain another little bit of more high resolution with a little bit lower value there let's see if one one dot three can be used okay uh let's try saving and launch simulation then we can see some frames together just made uh, a test, but before we launch the final one, I like to uh, have a little bit less turbulence with a little uh, more little scaling. And let's try to have also an higher maximum iteration and we can try also to have an higher quality. So now we can save and again, we can try to simulate some frames and see the result in a few. Okay, let's see this frame, for example. Let's wait for the calculation of this one. Okay, nice. Let's go back for one frame.
and render this one we have the particles but that is not a problem okay you see that's the actual result and I really like it um, we can just tune up a little bit the scattering the air uh, let's go for example to 1.5 and let's try to have 2.5 okay it's a little bit too much so let's go back to 3 and the maximum depth lower to 5 we should have a really nice quality okay you see that it's really really nice let's see at the beginning what we have when we are starting to simulate so let's go there at the beginning and render okay you see that the quality is really nice so we can launch the final simulation but before I'd like to remove the particles to be sure that the quality in rendering is right that's the render there let's see at 65 the last frame we simulated okay we have enough quality to launch the final simulation so um, let's see just to be sure the beginning the first frame with a, lo uh, a little bit of smoke you see that the quality is nice okay so uh, we can save and we can launch the final simulation and you will see uh, the final result on the website I will render the animation if you like to have uh, a great quality you can use lower resolution for the simulation depending on the uh, memory you have on your workstation I will try to have an higher quality there so we can see more detail so for the moment that's all and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com. Bye.